Alrighty, so in today's video, I wanna talk about adding audio into your video walkthroughs, why you should do this, when you should do this, and what equipment you need to make this happen. Let's get started. What's good everybody, Ken here, you're watching Original Dobo, a channel totally dedicated to drone and tech related content. If this is your first time here, I try to do tips, tricks, tutorials to help you better your business, especially if you are filming or photographing real estate. So today I wanna to talk about adding audio into your videos, your video walkthroughs that is, allowing you to mic up an agent and let them do some of the heavy lifting. So firstly, I wanna talk about what equipment you'll need to be able to do this before we get into the why. So firstly, if you're gonna be miking up agents, you're gonna to wanna to be using lavalier microphones. Do not use a lavalier wired mic to your camera, to your talent. That would be a really bad and unprofessional thing to do. Chances are I've seen several videos where people have done that and ultimately what ends up happening is one, the agent can trip, Two, they can pull on your camera or break your, your audio jack into your camera. Or three, you end up getting that line in your shot. Now I know it's a really cheap thing to do is just buy a lavalier mic and send it, but if you want the most professional experience for your client, you're gonna need to get yourself a lav mic. So the lav mic that I have been using for the past year is the Rode Wireless Go. Now why did I choose this lav mic? Well, it's super simple and it's super compact. The transmitter and the receiver are really, really tiny. The other thing that I really like about this mic setup is there is a built-in mic directly on the transmitter. So it allows me to just clip this to somebody's lapel or put it on the inside of their shirt and not have to worry about really fiddling with it very much. Now with my setup and what I do, I still ended up getting a lav mic, a full lav mic, which is the DDV lav. Now this is a really long lav mic and it could totally make it from my camera to my talent. However, I still don't do this. The reason why I ended up getting a lav mic is when I'm dealing with male agents specifically, they don't have really anywhere where they can tuck the transmitter. Like a female agent, she can just stuff it in her tits and, and it's good to go and no big deal. But a male, they have to put it on their hip or their side or in their pocket so they don't have that added flexibility of pockets. I don't really know, that's probably not a good way to call boobs. But anyways, you know what I mean. So get yourself a good lav mic so you can run these transmitters and receivers down to the side. Also, it'll help reduce echo. Now this is about 200 bucks for this kit here. However, I did find a backup kit which I've been using and it's made by a company called Pixel and these are the vocal airs and I recently did do a shoot with my sister-in-law who's an agent um, and we mic'd her up with these. And what's really cool about this kit is that it does come with its very own lavalier mic so you don't have to buy one additionally. Really this kit comes full circle. It even comes with a nice little case. And what I love about these mics are is that there are little um, displays already on here. So you have a transmitter and a receiver and both of them have the display. So you can see the battery level, the wavelengths, the whole thing which is great. And if you want to monitor your audio, you can definitely do that. You have multiple channels to work off of. So right now I'm on channel one and they will switch depending on what channel frequency this needs to be on. So it's very much a lot like the Rode. These are only $120 and they sound great. Another thing that I found a little weird is that this standard mic that's on the actual transmitter that you would put like here actually sounds better than the Rode mic. I, I don't understand how that is, but it definitely sounded a little bit more fuller in my testing. But again, it's going to depend on your talent. But if you're looking to add audio into your uh, videos and you don't want to spend a lot of money, 120 bucks. And on Amazon right now, I found that there's a $20 savings coupon. So it all equates out to 100 bucks, which honestly, you can't go wrong if you're just wanting to experiment with this. Hi, I'm Tori Dono with Tropic Shores Realty, here to show you my newest listing at 3424 Jewfish Drive in beautiful Hernando Beach, Florida. Hi, I'm Christina Alonzo with Florida's A-Team and Florida Luxury Realty, and welcome to our newest listing at 5575 Grand Summit Drive in Southern Hills' beautiful community. All right, so when should you implement your audio into your videos? 
Well, this is the part where it's a little bit more difficult to really decide. It's all gonna depend on what your agent wants. I've seen some videos where the agent's walking through the house and they're mic'd up the whole time talking about the house. I don't do that simply because it becomes a little bit harder to adjust for the white balance and the color correct later on down the road. So the way I do it and the way I would suggest trying it is to simply mic the agent up, have them introduce the listing, who they are, what brokerage they work for, and the address of the property. I then do the whole entry into the home, blah, 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 and then another talking spot with the agent where they talk about the property's benefits and features, along with some added things that maybe I didn't have to film. And they're not gonna be on the camera the whole time. I'll cut to the little pieces that they talk to to make it interesting. And then the last part, which is the closing part, where it's usually the agent walking out on the highlight feature of a property, talking about some of the benefits, the things about the community, why this is an amazing home, and closing it out with their phone number or email and how to contact and basically urging the audience to schedule a tour with them. That's the easiest way to do that. And I'll play some samples of the clips that I've done here. Hello everyone, my name is Michael Ujoa. I'm a local real estate agent here in Hernando County and I wanna welcome you guys to this amazing listing over at 4407 Flexer Drive. Check it out. Hi, this is Christina Alonso, listing agent for Florida's A-Team at Florida Luxury Realty. And this is my newest listing, located at 12920 Star Road. This kitchen is amazing has a beautiful open concept overlooking the living room. And then you have this awesome kitchen nook. Plenty of natural lighting. You can sit here and overlook 2.4 acres of property. So personally, I find that doing the audio like this works really, really well, but you do need the script. And before we get into the script, and I just wanna quickly mention today's video sponsor, which is NordPass. So when NordPass reached out to me about doing sponsored videos, I was actually pretty excited because I recently had some passwords that were compromised and the end result was my credit card information was exposed and people were charging things you know, on my card. I didn't realize how many passwords were compromised. And with NordPass, I'm able to modify and monitor my passwords to make sure I'm not reusing the same information on multiple websites. Typing your passwords in online can be a little bit obscure and sometimes unnerving because you never know if there's a key logger tracking that information. With NordPass, all I have to do is click on my login and it will automatically enter my details for me. A problem I've had in the past was I would enter passwords that were just too simple. They weren't complicated enough. And with NordPass, it can help me generate complex passwords so I don't have to. Credit card information, I never enter again. I simply click on the NordPass link to whatever I'm looking to buy, and it will enter that information for me. Safe and secure with top level encryption, NordPass has your back. With simple plans to choose from and a free plan where you can download the app and just have it on one device if you don't wanna pay for a membership, you can do that, but if you wanna be able to sync your devices across the board between Android, Mac, iOS, and Windows, then you're definitely gonna want a membership. And right now, my viewers can save by clicking the link in the description below or using code OriginalDobo at checkout. NordPass, the all-in-one password management solution. All right, so scripting these videos are going to be really important. I try not to go into these shoots shooting from my hip, so to speak, no pun intended, but sometimes it happens, right? And I will tell you that most of the time when I work with my good friend Christina on shoots, we've done 150 shoots and about 40 shoots where we've mic'd her up, and almost every single time I have shot from the hip. 
And I can tell you almost every single time it's taken me multiple takes to be able to do that. It's no fault of her own. I'm the professional and I should be prompting her. So let me play this clip here so you can understand why it's important to script. Hi, this is Christina Alonzo with Florida's A-Team at Florida Luxury Realty. This is my new... <laughs> Hi, this is Christina Alonzo, listing agent for Florida's A-Team at Florida Luxury Realty. And this is my newest listing, located at 12920 Star Road. <laughs> Hi, this is Christina Alonzo, with Florida's A-Team at Florida Luxury Realty. And this is my newest listing, Located at 12020 Star Road. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> this kitchen is amazing. It has plenty of natural lighting. As you can see, this home has been completely renovated. It's three bedrooms, two bath, and has an in-ground pool. Okay, you did not come all the way out. You need to relax. I said drag your fingertips. You gotta drag. You wanna drag. Okay. This is because a you wanna feel like you, you know, that the house is like, I don't know, they're talking to you. Okay. Okay. Get, get intimate with the yes, home. get intimate with the home, <laughs> exactly. But when you come out, you, you know, like, you carry yourself like you're, okay. you're a million dollar agent. Okay, know? all right, I got this, okay, oh yeah, all right, okay, let's get some, okay, yep. Three, two, one, go. As you can see, this home has been completely renovated, it has a beautiful kitchen, it's three bedrooms, two bath, and has an in-ground pool. One more time. So that shoot took us a bit longer to do, super fun, and then she finally did nail everything 100%, which was great. But what I suggest doing is, if you don't wanna pay for a teleprompter, get yourself some cue cards, and before you get on site, have a conversation with the agent about the property, especially if it's a property that has all these quirky details, make a cue card for each thing that you want the agent to talk about. And sometimes what I'll do is I'll say, hey, you write something out that you feel comfortable with saying, so that way when we get on camera, you're ready to go. And a lot of times I will have them talk about it, we'll act it out, we'll do a couple of takes. Now my rule of thumb is when I'm doing these takes, always make sure the camera is running because sometimes maybe they nail it on the first try and if you weren't recording, well, you didn't get it. So I always leave the camera on, there's no big deal from your master suite, you have your own private balcony where you can enjoy beautiful sunsets of the Gulf. Shit, I wasn't recording. That was really good. That was good. I felt powerful uh, too. I'm just joking. Oh. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. We got to record the last piece. In making them shoot multiple times, but have cue cards so that way it's somewhat prepared and planned so it doesn't seem so haphazard. Another thing to do is when we're doing these scripting videos is you have to have certain audio cues for your music on your soundtrack. So let's talk about that. So audio ducking, which is going to be the way you make the audio fade into the person that's talking. You wanna have a long enough lead way where it doesn't sound too abrupt, but also sounds professional. There's been several times in most of my videos where I was just a little bit too abrupt. I didn't account for the music audio track. And when I was bringing the audio levels down, it just sounded like it was coming to a screeching halt. So you wanna make sure that your fades for your audio and your music are right on par. I find that around a negative 26 for most audio tracks while the agent's talking works really well. The agent's audio will typically be peaking at about negative six in my videos. The bass track of the audio music that plays is negative 10 and then the audio while the agent is talking is sitting at negative 26. That's the music that I have playing. And again, you want that nice smooth curve so that way it sounds super professional. 
And again, you wanna give yourself enough spacing to make that curve seem like it's not so abrupt. There's been too many times where I've made it where it's just, it's just too fast of a curve and it's really super noticeable. Also, you want the music ever so lightly there just to sort of give some sort of ambiance to whatever it is that the agent's talking about. And then lastly, where can you use these branded videos? Well, on some forms, you can't use this on the MLS because the agent's specifically in the video and that is considered branding. It's the same reason why you can't film the agent's signs on the property or have their signs on photos because it's considered branding. Where this works really well is if an agent is using this for Facebook or Instagram, anywhere on social media this works well or if they have a website or if they want to use this for Zillow, Zillow allows you to upload these videos and I believe there may be a cap on how long you can actually be in the video. I think it's at the beginning and the end, it's about 15 seconds of each, but it's enough to sort of get you some face time with prospective clients or sellers at that. Anyways, I hope that these tips help you because I've been using this and honestly, I feel like when you incorporate an agent into the video, it can be almost the worst production that you've ever done, but because they are in that video, they're gonna love it. And you're gonna get a lot less complaints when you do do a video with an agent in it because everybody loves to see themselves on video and everybody loves to hear themselves talk. And because while well, they are the star of the show, it will save you a lot of time and aggravation if they're able to do this. Now you're gonna ask yourself, well, do I charge extra for this? And hell yeah, you charge extra for this. This is a branded video. If you're gonna provide an agent two different videos, one branded and one non-branded, then yes, they do need to pay for that export. Now what you charge is entirely up to you. I make the fee quite nominal just so I can get more people to sign with me. Anyways, I hope this helps. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you NordPass for sponsoring today's video and making things like this possible so I can buy gear so you don't have to. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time, stay original.